Now, when Terence Naidu first established his company, Evisionist Capitalist Solutions in 2010, he admits that he could have never dreamt as big as what the company has become. This then could well be the reason why the Envisionist Dare to Dream Bursary Foundation was established as an incentive for students to dream far beyond their circumstances. This year, The Morning Show was invited to witness the third annual Envisionist Dare to Dream Bursary Foundation Gala where two beneficiaries were asked to, to speak about their experiences with the foundation. Here's a look at what happened. We know we have challenges in the country, but together we have strengthened our diversity as a country and we can do so much more. And I think that's what's being celebrated today. We started off with one bursary eight years ago. We're now on 27 with 10 graduates and if all goes according to plan, we have another 10 graduates this year. There's 12 people in our business. We've got 27 kids that we sponsor and 10 graduates. We've got 400 kids on an online maths and reading program, which we're going to expand to 1,000. That's the kind of positive gearing and leverage that we want to see from more South African corporates. So, putting the challenge out there to you guys. I can't stress this enough. It's, it's a team effort. It truly is a team effort to put this together. We have two unbelievable bursary candidates who are here with us this evening. My name is Bitimelo Tepe. I'm one of the bursary recipients for the Envision It Foundation. And I'm here to sort of speak about what Envision It does for young people, how they're paying for young people's tuition, and just to enjoy the evening and enjoy the arts as well. Hi, I'm Dominique Ta. I'm also one of the recipients for the Envision It Bursary Fund. Well, the initiative has made a big difference in my life, so I'm a major advocate for it. I'm so grateful for what everyone is doing here. It's an amazing initiative. We've got some of the country's top artists present here tonight. This truly is investment art. There's a base price, which is very reasonable. Anything over that gets donated to the Envision It Bursary Foundation. 20,000 Rand, this is for the Bursary Foundation. I promise you it's an investment piece. 30,000 Rand, we have 35,000 Rand. So I know you've got 35,000 rand in here, I can see it. That's a 35,000 rand bow tie right there. 35,000 rand, but 40,000 rand, ladies and gentlemen. You are empowering a child, you are giving them an education, you're giving them a future, you're building this nation. 40,000 rand, ladies and gentlemen. 35,000 rand going once. 40,000 rand, there we go, give them a big round of applause. The contribution the foundation makes to making young people's dreams come true is something that I think we should all be thankful for. And I also want to thank everyone who contributed enormously by buying the art, um, the artists who contributed them. It just um, showcases the generosity of South Africans. I think it was an awesome event. This has been such an incredible evening. I feel so inspired by not only the room filled of generous people, but what this was all about. The amazing young people who were in the room tonight that were testament to what this bursary fund does and how it is actually changing and affecting young people's lives. Knowing Terence personally, he's just got so much heart, so much soul, a successful businessman that's achieved so much in his personal capacity, but he doesn't shy away from the fact that he has to give back to society and, and what he's done with this Bursary Foundation is absolutely amazing. Uh, he's empowering the youth, he's educating young kids that aren't privileged like most of us and uh, I take my hat off to him. He's a, he's a true inspiration and, uh, and a South African that we should all look up to. Now thank you again for joining us Terence. Now I want to find out in your words, what made you decide that you wanted to start such a fund? Okay, so I grew up in apartheid South Africa mm. and I didn't come from the most affluent background. I had to work full time and study part time. Mm -hmm. And as I got into my career, I realized the value of education mm -hmm. and what it could do to advance my career. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I can't be the only one. Mm -hmm. So 
as I progressed in my career and as uh, you know I became more successful, I realized that I had to give back. Uh, you know, that. it it's always said in South Africa that it takes a village to raise a child. It does, it does. But somehow we've got an, an, uh, an alternative to that where people say it's my time. Mm. And I realized that it's not just my time, it's a time for me to give back more. Mm. And uh, knowing the value of education, it's something I was compelled to do. I feel you, man. I couldn't agree with you more. Now tell us, how does the fund identify the children or the students rather who are yeah. most deserving for such a bursary? So the world doesn't reward mediocrity, mm -hmm. right? So okay. firstly, your academic uh, excellence is, is rewarded. Mm -hmm. But beyond that, we want to see that you're, you're committed to giving back. Mm -hmm. And you know, we, we base the foundation on, on the pay it forward concept. Mm -hmm. So we want to try and choose to, uh, students that mm -hmm. are going to give back as well. Uh -huh. And uh, we look at areas of the economy where we, skill, where we see skill shortages mm -hmm. and we try to, to do more bur bursaries in those areas. That's beautiful. Now, of the bursaries you've given out, was there any particular story that was very close to your heart? Uh, yeah, <laughs> they're always You've got to pick a there, favorite. <laughs> there's, there's two, actually. Okay. Well, the first one's always very special. Mm. And, you know, I went back to the school that I went to, mm -hmm. which, which was very sentimental for me. I hear you, man. And she came from a single home single parent home mm -hmm. um, but she was phenomenal uh -huh. and she got a dean's accommodation every year for mm -hmm. three years um, and it just gave us the impetus to do more mm -hmm. but then the flip side to that was and her name was Nivashni Gandhan mm -hmm. the flip side to that was someone who I regard as a son and as a brother right now Bongani uh, Boloi mm -hmm. who evoked all that passion and 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 frustration and anger and <laughs> you know like why are you failing what's going on mm. and, but you know with all that emotion mm. comes or came a, a really amazing friendship yeah. and and a bond between us mm. and he graduated uh, two years ago and I was at his I was at his, his graduation, graduation and I cried and oh, it, it was seeing my, it was like seeing my your son my grow son up grow up oh, exactly I'm not I'm not that old to have a son mm. <laughs> that old but yeah. uh, it was just it he, he evoked a lot of emotion in me, so I hear it, you, man. yeah, and very special. Where do you see the fund going 10, five years from now? You know, from a business perspective, we have 12 people in our organization, mm. but we, you know, we have a greater, we, we're a small business, but we have a great impact, mm. I, I believe. We've got 27 kids on the program. Mm. We sponsor 500 kids to go to uh, online maths and reading um, at a school in Mamalodi, which we're increasing to 1,000 next year. And we've got 10 graduates. Mm. Now, 12 people, look at the multiplier effect on that, yeah. right? So I want to see more corporates doing what we're mm. doing. Can you imagine larger corporates with the same oh, sort of multiplier effect? Such a difference. We would make a huge difference. Mm. And let's face it, we knew when government said mm. that free private education, we knew government couldn't afford it. Cool. But in life, there's only two things you can control. Mm. How do you act and how do you react? Mm. And knowing that government can't afford it, what were we gonna do? Sit back and say, no, they said they're never. gonna do it, let them do it. Never. Never. Mm. We're gonna step up and say, mm. okay, we're gonna help out. Mm. We're not gonna stop what we're doing. So we wanna see more. I'd love to get to 100, but I'd like to see that multiplier effect grow across other organizations and, and the impact must be greater. And as those students qualify, we wanna see them sponsor more students. So you have, again, that multiplier effect. That knock-on effect and yeah. it's helping. Man, thank you again for joining us. You truly have such an inspirational story and you're doing such incredible work, not only for yourself, but the rest of South Africa. So we truly commend you and we pray that a vision that just grows and continues to go from strength to strength. It, it's a team effort. Huh? It is a team it, effort. It Irrespective of what color or religion <laughs> we are, we all one team, Team South Africa. Looking for progress. Yeah. Thank you so much, Terence. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a quick break, but we'll, right, we'll be right back right after the break.